Hello and welcome back to the Red Wolf production. My name is Dmitry Redwolf, and in today's video review, we'll be checking out the latest project that we've made with the team at Web Web Dev at, in Red Wolf Corp company. And this time we've created, uh, or as we say, developed a project uh, for a sport facility factory in Russia. And basically, as you can see, the website all in Russian, uh, but you don't need to worry about the language because we'll be talking throughout the all structure, how it works, what are the strategies to building this, uh, animations, the different ideas. So grab a pen, grab a notebook, and let's get right into it. Just a disclaimer, uh, all the prices all the information about the website development overall will be all included in the description uh, to contact us you can also get reach us on instagram on TikTok, through email through website so we have everything <laughs> where you can get in touch with us so uh, let's go back to the home page i'll begin with the home page then we'll go to the pages uh one by one so uh, we have this first block. This first block was in editing for, I would say, over two weeks. <laughs> it was uh, changed every time. It was just simple before. Uh, and now, as you can see, this this tab, these, this is just one picture. So just a life hack. If you're a web developer, if you want to make something unique, yet not very complicated, do this in Photoshop, put it, insert it in the website and uh, make an animation so that it doesn't look bland. Uh, straight away, when client comes to the website, so the main goal for the client to leave a uh, contact information for the company <clears throat> to contact them and to make them a basically sport goods. Uh, this factory makes sport outfits, uh, caps, hoodies, uh, different fits for different sports like hockey, ski, and so on. So I have here, first of all, we got this. This is the form that fills up uh, the results come to Excel sheet. It comes to a telegram. It comes to the email and also comes to another uh, forms that we're talking with. In here, uh, as you can see, uh, a little animation, cheeky animation, as you can see. It's very simple, but it's nice, fading in. Uh, what the client wanted is that every time when client, uh, someone comes on the website, they see this as a presentation. And not in the form as like PPT presentation, but mostly in transition way. So we decided to put on each page this type of transitions where it transitions into so many times transition <laughs> i said this word uh where it goes into the new block and we have two main colors which are white um somewhat black grayish and blue blue is the accent colors you can see the shadow here the number right here and don't worry it will be seen the menu is fixed uh, but it will start a little bit later on on the next block. Here we have some quote from the director of the facility and also this very nice and unique kind of a looping animation. What, how I did this is that I made this uh, first in Photoshop. I took this from icon free websites, uh, royalty free. So be careful about that and made this spin slower this one's faster so it's pretty simple <laughs> yet not so many people understand this how to do it here's like few features of the company what they do uh some projects and straight away once again uh, another button for the form so that client would be able to stop right here oh and uh, as per clients and per russian um, people who are buying this stuff uh, these guys are very famous, and here I included a gallery of the teams that bought the uh, outfits, sport outfits from this facility factory. So it's possible to see, and this gallery is looping. So uh, once we go to the very end, it will just start again. I could do this uh, 
slideshow as uh, an auto slideshow, but I decided to leave it as it is so that people would be, uh, you know, taking action into checking out uh, what the company produced thus far. In the next, uh, as you can see here, which is what, what is nice about this transition is that this is one big block. It's not as big, you'll see a bigger one, but it's a big block uh, that is made in zero in zero block. And the cheeky animation right here as well, it goes up and down so that um, would give you some retention for the clients to when they come. Okay, how I did this and why is this not animated? <laughs> uh, basically, this was a video. It was uh, around 50 megabytes, uh, but the worst thing about Tilda is that Tilda doesn't allow videos as this. Uh, for example, we can enter a YouTube video, we can put a Vimeo video, or if you ever use Vimeo anymore. But yeah, uh, this was at first a video, I turned it into GIF, uh, sped it up to make sure it meets two megabytes. And with this good quality, as you can see, like if you zoom in, of course, it's not as good, but thus far, it looks really nice. Also here, and this also talks about features of the company. And here's already categories of the um, type of sport that they're making for. And look at this animation. This this was one of the hardest things uh, in a while that I did, or like figure out mostly, not, not how I did. But like, look at this. So boom, bam. So once the person hovers over, there are three layers of this thingy. So if I go to the inside backend of the of the website, I'll showcase it right now to you. So let's go to the very end, almost. So yeah, edit block. And this is this is a group of. Uh, let me see, show layers. This is a group of a uh, few objects. So we have here text. We have one shape, which is the gray one, uh, which uh, hides this. Then I have a back, as you can see, at the back it's shadow one. And here, oh, actually this was the shadow. And an image, which was behind and is behind. So this is a kind of a cool uh, effect if you're working with Tilda or if your web uh, builder allows you to do this uh, through layering and animation. And how I did the animation is that, for example, let's go here. It's extremely easy, honestly, but um, at first, maybe not so intuitive. Uh, okay, let's go here. Edit. So right there, uh, I have step number two is to, I mean, step start and then step one to uncover the thingy. And to uncover the gray part is triggered by this or this, and it's different uh, on each card. So uh, don't save. Let's go back to the main page. So yeah, as you can see, the shadow shows up, the picture is clear and it's not faded and the text shows up as well. Uh, I left the text here uh, as a hockey just because a uh, person must know to click on that and this is and then it's intuitive like you know and it goes back because if I'll put this uh, just like here uh, when I hover so uh, the thing is right here see hockey is here if I ho hover over football it disappears. If I hover back, it comes back to hockey. And so if I put basketball, it stays, hockey stays. Volleyball stays, hockey stays. Uh, gymnastics stays, hockey stays. And the cool thing is that, I mean, bad thing, I would say even, if we tri put the trigger for each card, just like in football, uh, imagine what will happen if I hover off it will show hockey, boom, basketball, hot, football, hop, hop. So it will be like, you know, 
not really aesthetic, I would say. That's why I kept it here when we are hovering over different cards other than uh, football. This page uh, takes us to the full uh, category catalog, uh, where it's possible to see all the sports. And then there's also a featured uh, catalog of uh, clothing, where this factory can produce T-shirts, bombers, shorts, um, bomber uh, there's like different types of bombers jackets i'd say and the link uh, this uh, this um, button uh, follows to the accessories page where we already showcase all the other uh, types of clothing so next one we have how to order uh, it's pretty simple i used to have animation here but i guess the company uh decided not to have it there <laughs> uh, it used to hover over right there and after that there's yet another you want a consultation you press the name you put the phone number in or you can even choose the country right here so it's masked uh, into the form and uh, you want to get the uh, back uh, the phone the phone call back jesus i cannot speak today uh in the last home page almost to the footer we have a map that is you can move it around so it's uh, interactive and this is the exact uh, place where the company is residing and where the factory is and to contact them there is a phone number whatsapp email plus the exact address just in case you know people don't want to use this and in the footer, we have a full map of the website catalog. Uh, we have uh, contact information, just the same as there. And also uh, the website developed by Red Wolf Corp. So it uh, gets you right into the uh, our website, uh, which is uh, in Russian uh, side. So it's for Russian clients. Here we have WhatsApp, which is clickable, phone number, which is clickable, email, which is clickable. And right here as well, you leave your phone number and the company gets back to you within like 15 minutes or so. Yeah, so this is the main page. Uh, it, it took me 12 minutes to discuss. <laughs> so it's, it's a huge website. It's honestly a big website. I'm um, extremely blessed to add this to our portfolio because this is amazing about the company uh, so let's go here uh, it talks a bit a bit more about the company as you can see it's a little slow on on the loading side so it will load up just in a second uh, because i'm using also loom to record this uh, it takes a little bit longer even though i have 5g so yeah same premise of the block transitions so we are going from block to block as you can see the cool effect that i did here is that it's like one um background black and there is just one highlighted thing which is like important information about the company that they're open in 2009 and has some shadows on some pictures i decided to use this type of um, visuals as well as you can see here the borders it makes it a little bit more 3D, yet a little bit more, I would say, playful so that it, it's not just, you know, black and blue and white, uh, but it gives some, um, I would say, also emotion to the, or the soul to the website. So this is something I added. Here is like some features and numbers, which is important for the website to have if you're a factory or, a, uh, or if you're selling something, always show numbers again here's like 500 uh, pieces of uh, products they can produce in one day yet again another um, quote from the uh, company owner and here as well i decided to accent on a, a ecological side because it's very important for people to know that this company um, care, cares about ecology or like making everything an eco here's an automatic slideshow as you can see if it it, it should turn <laughs> just give me a second yeah right there so it turns and goes to the next one i think it's five seconds to go and i also inserted gifs in here so that it would be a little bit different and nice 
here I chose a different transition where uh, it goes to white filter, uh, the slideshow, and so uh, transitions straight into the next block of the consultation. Here's the control of quality. So like, for example, if people see something bad about the product or something, they can press on this button. Uh, and I need to fix that. <laughs> Good thing that I'm uh, right now doing it with you. Let's, let's, let's go right into this and quickly fix this just in case there are some problems. Perhaps uh, people either hit the, the form or they deleted it. Yeah, because when I've, yeah, as you can see, they hit the, uh, the form, so it doesn't show anymore though. Uh, what I need to do here is that, look at this, this is a zero block. What I need to do is I need to add another block right here so that it can show up right when, when the client presses the button. So this is pop-up zero block right there. So I copy in here the code, the block ID. I press here. I put it right there. And what I need to do is that I go back, uh, not back, but just give me a second. I'm getting messages already because this, this review takes a little bit longer than usual. Um, let's update the page, perhaps with the loom. It doesn't really want to work properly. Let's go here. So I have the name of the form problem form close. I go back here and so that the zero block would pop up. I have the ID code of the zero block. I have the name of the pop up. It should always start with a hashtag and the name. So I can, I can, I can put anything like, you know, anything. And, but I need to put that this as a link to the, either a button, a word or something. But as we have it here, problem form, I keep it as this. I publish it. Uh, let's update this um, page. So once, so it doesn't have anything else. Okay, so we press, boom. And now it shows, shows up here. Yeah, easy as that even though it takes a few minutes to complete. Let's go to the next page. It's a type of sports. Here are the categories of each sport that we provide. And as you can see, it goes straight into the home page. We press see all, and this is category, boom. So right here, we have every sport and this leads to every singular page. Every page is is exactly the same except few details, few minor details, which I'll show you right now. Also, uh, as there is this type of this uh, link hooked to a block on the home page, and I also have here. This is a catalog of the all clothing. So we have types of sports, so hockey, football, basketball, etc., and also accessories, which we'll get back to in later. So I can either press, press it here. So let's go to, let's go to hockey because this page, I worked on this a lot. This was like my homepage for every sport. Once it loads up, we have here uh, a background that I made in Photoshop. I put it as a background of the page. I also left this here and I made the transparent form. So first up and because of the SEO. So like, you know, a person, a client, a potential client would write like, I need a hockey uh, outfit uh, suit in one day or something uh, for order. And this is the first page that would they would come up. So for example, if they search for a company, of course they get to the home page. but here, they can 
just straight up write their name, keep it, and as you can see, it hovers over, yet it doesn't like, it's okay to fill in the information, which is, I believe it's nice. It's also retention uh, tracker, so like you can, you, people see it, I'm, oh my God, this is cute. <laughs> uh, because like, I, I like this effect, honestly. And also I added some shadow on the form so that it's uh, more of a 3D uh, and, uh, it goes a little bit over the style of the whole website yet it stays this you know in the same edge uh here are a few blocks which we'll go through first block is the cat categories of the clothing then we have featured products then this starting from this block is basically the same thing in every uh blog that i have for the sport uh, clothing so it's slideshow then uh with this company you will get following features consultation and from here uh or even here from uh from the company oh no no, no i'm sorry from this so from here from the consultations up until the footer this is the whole footer so this is on every page three blocks one two and three it adds up to footer so you know you don't have to have just the footer all the time you can have up to three blocks four blocks five blocks so that you don't have to do extra work you can just simply add this to the footer page so let's go back here uh, to the back end of the page uh, let's go back to footer and here as you can see consultation the map with contact info the form so this form is actually added to every single page so where the there is a button with a form this is connecting to there so you don't need to have every form on every page of the website you just need to put it in the footer this is just an extra code i uh, i did and the footer itself and it's simple it adds to every page possible honestly this is like a very understandable small thing yet not everybody uses it for some reason um so right there i really like as you see, if you if you're not a first watcher uh watcher sounds a bit like a ga game or something anyway if you're not watching this for the first time you know this is my unique thing that i like to do the menu with tabs i really enjoy this effect because this looks really really good uh every button right here takes us to the form where a person uh, leaves the contact information and company contacts them before i had two buttons with also more info about the product but um okay it shows up here as you can see you can press that on the on the image just in case you need it so they didn't remove it uh so let's press from here to football and as you can see here, what are the changes? Let's see. It's very simple, yet I need to showcase it to you. Yeah, uh, when I'm recording Loom, usually it takes all of the internet. Anyway, you see the background is different. Uh, of course, the products are different. So it might be like, you know, uh, two tabs instead of one. And that's it. This is just the same. This is the same thing as and always like in each possible uh, catalog starting from hockey to or FP. I still don't understand what it is, but it's probably for like gym stuff. Anyway, uh, let's go to this featured products. Uh, we press on a button about or more info. And here what I have is that it's a simpler view still the transparent form i don't have any background on this page i just have this uh, card that i have on a home page as well and we go lower here and it's extremely simple there are different types of clothing here and here why i did two tabs because uh, maximum of one two three four five six seven eight eight uh per like eight menu possibilities per one block and that's why i did two of them pretty simple and once again it's exactly the same thing in here 
If I press on how to order, it takes me to the home page and automatically scrolls down well, to footer. So it's like mostly uh, info right here and plus consultations. Uh, and for this website, that's it. That's all for today's review. Um, once again, I believe I said that or not, but I'll repeat myself. The duration of this website, it took me one month to create. Uh, I included forms for Google Forms and uh, for the contact information to be stored. I also put information so that it goes to Telegram bot, so that it goes uh, everywhere. It's also possible to, uh, we had with a client uh, understanding before starting the project that I will be also uh, importing uh, and integrating payment systems on this website, even though they decided that they just want to get leads instead of you know sales through the website. That's why uh, I, you don't see any like you know cart or adding any information also before uh like a week ago <laughs> because i passed this uh, project a week ago uh it had a live chat uh yet they decided to get rid of it as of now i i i guess so yeah but the web website is amazing i'm once again glad that i added this to my portfolio if you're a factory and if you're looking for a website, if you are uh, at all an expert, if you're someone who needs a website, you can follow our website www.redwolfcorp.xyz. You can choose their web development part or you can after xyz slash web dev and you'll get to our web development part of the business. Uh, or you can also get reach us through Instagram, which is at redwolf underscore corp. And also you can reach us uh, through LinkedIn, through TikTok, if you're there. And we'll get back to you within one day. The process of our work is that we have a consultation. We prepare everything for the contract. We sign the contract. We take an upfront payment for the builder's fee. And within the duration, we are always online. We're always in progress. We are updating you. We are making sure everything is on track. And after that, we make sure that the project is working for you. The website is working. We're helping. We're always down to help. So yeah. Uh, my name is Dimitri Redwolf. You can, you can get in touch with me also through LinkedIn or through Instagram, which will be linked all down in the description and all the contact information. So thank you very much. I hope to see you next week.